I'm a little bit late to be talking about this. <laughs> like it's a tag. Yeah, it is actually, isn't it? It's kind of the sexual abuse tag. If it was like the game of tag where people touch each other, but this time they didn't know they were playing the game. So for those of you that don't know um, what's been happening on YouTube for the past year, um, but actually longer than that, but like big for the past year, um, lots of people have been accused uh, and proved to be sexual abusers on YouTube. It started out with Alex Day and Ed Plant and Tom Milsom. And now recently it's um, Sam Pepper and um, Jason V1i. Never really been a big fan of the videos of Sam Pepper or Jason V1i. Not that, that makes it easier. Like, oh, they're sexual abusers, but I'm not gonna miss their videos, so it's kinda, whatever, no loss. Sam Pepper put up a video where he went around touching girls' asses, uh, and then he claimed it to be a social experiment, which everybody went, bullshit, which is completely right, because it was total bullshit, like he was just trying to save his skin. And then this spurred on stories from other people, somebody came out um, and said that Jason got them drunk when she was 15, uh, and had sex with her when he was 20. So yeah, it's not, this isn't a fun subject to be talking about, but these are the things, this is why, it's not fun, but we absolutely need to be talking about it because this stuff is happening. I think it's very easy as well to kind of shut your mind off and go, oh, it's just happening now on YouTube, so what, now it's becoming clear, which is fine if it is only becoming clear to you now because of YouTube. It's kind of good. It shows how good the YouTube community is that we want to talk about this stuff. But this is happening all the time outside of YouTube. It just seems to be so localized now because it's happening to people that we know and watch and care about on YouTube. Jason made a video apologizing, and I'm going to put my hands up straight away. When it came out, I went, I tweeted him. I said, I've, it's deleted now, but I'll tell you because I made a mistake. I said, I respect you for making this. The reason why I've learned that was wrong is because I was treating an apology as like progression. That's weird, isn't it? That we view an apology as something to be kind of applauded for something like this instead of someone just staying silent and going, uh, I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen for a while and hope that it blows over. Which is what people have done. And an apology to me seems like, oh, he's acknowledged it. Good on him. No. He's just admitted to a crime. It wouldn't happen in court. You've raped someone. How do you declare? I did it. Well, that's it. But I'm sorry. Wow. Free to go. Can anyone get him, get him a cake as well? Just because he did really good then. If you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, I'm sick of hearing about sexual abuse on YouTube. You're part of the problem. I'm so sorry to say this to you. Actually, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. You should be sorry for thinking those things. You're part of the problem because this sort of thing needs to be talked about and it, the conversation needs to keep going on. I'm not going to lie to you as well. These sort of rumours existed before this news came out um, about the people before it and even people that haven't come out. I know rumours about stuff, but that doesn't mean that I should tell you what those are because that just generates hearsay. Gossip and rumours are the Wikipedia of normal conversation and you don't want that. You want the actual victims to come forward and, and say if they want to because they're incredibly brave if they do but if they don't want to that's their choice. It's a big thing to share but I do urge the victims of this sort of abuse to come forward and talk about it if not publicly on YouTube privately to somebody that you know and trust because we will support you and we will stop supporting these people in this position of power that they no longer deserve. That's the thing as well. Lots of people have been like, oh, I'll always support you, insert name here, even though you've done a bad thing. No, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you think something like that. If you are gonna go, well, oh, he's my friend, or I've liked him for ages, or I fancy him and I like his hair, but he raped someone, I think that's all right, because everyone makes mistakes. No, you're an idiot. Thank you for watching that video. It's a video I've wanted to make but struggled with how to say what I wanted to say because so many other people have made videos about this and said things so very, very well and eloquently, more so than I could ever do. Uh, <laughs> so if you want to see their, uh, their takes on this sort of conversation, then please watch them. Their links are in the description. And if you want to add to the conversation, please do in the comments, write blogs, make videos, anything you want to do because this sort of thing needs to be talked about. Um, yeah, I'm not going to leave like another video there for you to watch or anything like that. I don't think it's appropriate. Um, but I'll be back with make another video soon. I'll be back. <sighs> See you later.